Well, I got me a power adapter. Not a very good one, I don't think. For one, it's not no it's got no ground wire. The plug that came with it did. And strangely enough, this end here has a four inch extension. Still got the same plug here. It's just unknown and the dogs are barking. Fantastic. And it's quite hot in here too. I should probably turn the fan on. Yep, next jump cut will be fan on and powering this. Oh, whatever. Point is, I got this Alienware computer for 150 and I got this power adapter for 40 So I'm 190 into it. These normally sell for about 250 or 300 By the time I load the windows onto it, I'll have no money left to make. So... I don't know. The dogs are being more annoying than they should be. Dear. Yeah, that's probably it. This is annoying. How could you possibly tie that so tight? There. Scumbags. I want to know. Is this 4 inch extension even needed? And the answer is... No, it's perfectly fine, but it is at an awkward angle, so, yes, that instantly makes it better, because it's not at a weird angle. Thanks for that. So, I'll be right back. Okay, the fan's on, and I have the computer plugged into the other adapter. Whether it's safe or not, I don't know, because when I plugged it in, it made a weird buzzing sound that I've never heard before. I'm going to take off the adapter, because I'm not entirely sure how safe that is. And it still plugs in just fine without it, so why bother? But, moment of truth. I want to go into setup. I think this keyboard's half bad. So there's control delete. Now I apparently gotta do something because it's not. Now let me do this, is it? I'm going to take out the hard drives. Now it should be good. Very squishy keys. At least it's not shutting down. If that means anything. You can hear the fan spin up. First time we actually heard them, so that's a good sign, I think. Give it the opens, numlock comes on. I want to try this on an external keyboard, see if this will help it. Oh, I see. I think I was clocking that. Okay, so it's got a um, Turion 64ML40 clocking in at 2.2 gigahertz. I'm pretty much um, the same as the 
processor that's in the Alienware M ALX that I have. But I'm just 20 megahertz slower. Eh. No, 200 megahertz slower, my bad. This thing's not getting past the BIOS, is it? And it stays on, so the power adapter at least somewhat works. I'll be back to you when I get this little issue solved. Okay, I just tried removing and putting the keyboard back on. Um, here's your little thing. Keyboard pops right out, so let's give it a whirl. Yeah, that keyboard's just busted. Alright, let me try getting an extra external keyboard. I'll be right back. Got one. This is a miniature keyboard from the Sony Netplay controller. Or I'm sorry, Logitech, Logitech Netplay controller for the PS2. Um, I couldn't find any other USB uh, keyboard, so this. Let's see if it works. There we go, yeah, it works. Yeah, the main keyboard is just dead. That's all it is. Of course, it's, oh, it's got the right date. Come back. I'm putting the hard drives back in. I'm going to put this back in place and put the screw back in that holds the keyboard in. There's a few keyboard screws missing but that's beside the point. Point is I found out what's wrong. It's the keyboard. Which is a relatively cheap fix. And there we go. I wonder if the battery holds, holds a charge. Or if it'll just blink again. Yeah, it just blinks. Okay. I guess the battery doesn't hold any charge anymore. Too bad. Actually, we might as well see where the screws go. There's one screw on the back of the hinge here. On this little black part. How am I screwing that in? I am a god. And then there's just five little screws all along the top here. I guess while I get the keyboard, I'll get a new um, cover. As you saw before, it had that dent in it on the left side which won't be pretty to whoever gets this next. Because other than that, this is a very flawless looking system.
that you've got to pry it open before. And I guess that's it. This computer is good to go, although I question the authenticity of that power supply. It works. It kept it powered on, and it didn't um, need much else to do other than the keyboard and the little side thing. The RAM was good. The hard drives were good, from what I could tell. And this computer is good to go. I'll shut up with this little thing until I can get a new keyboard for this. If anything, the MALX keyboard will work, but why would I want to destroy that rare computer for this? I want to get um, either the M9750, which has a Core 2 Duo processor in it, or the Eleanor M17R1, which uses the same body style case, but it has a Core 2 Quad. Um, they all use SLI graphics, so doesn't really matter, except for the uh, Core 2 Quad one that uses AMD Crossfire graphics. Same kind of thing, really good graphics. So I guess next video of me getting a computer will be either one of those two, or if you want me to review something, I'll do that. I'll do requests if you want me to. Um, as long as you know I have it, like all the Eleanors I have, I'll give you a list of what I have. I have the Sentia N3200, which is, which is right here, fast comparison video done in 12 seconds. I have the Eleanor M1417, and, well, I already did a re review of this and all the MX series that I have, except for the M15X. I am looking for another one of those because I had to sell it. Um, I want to get the M15X R1 and the R2. Um, the R1 because, I don't know, looks uses the old body style case and really good graphics for the time. And the R2 just to complete my MX collection. The M18X is about to sell. I can't do another video of that unless you really want to see me updating it before it gets packaged up. But that won't be very fun because you'd be sitting around forever. So I guess until next time, thanks Game Boy out and bye.